click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in this video we are going to study what is the armature reaction now when the supply is given to the main winding at that time magnetic field is produced this magnetic field produces the magnetic flux similarly when the current flows through the armature conductor the armature produces its own flux now the interaction of the armature flux with the main flux produces a certain reaction and that reaction is called as armature reaction in this video we are going to study in detail what is the armature reaction armature reaction is nothing but reaction of armature flux on the main field flux main field flux is produced when the stator is supplied with the current due to this the magnetic field is produced due to the magnetic field whatever flux is produced that is called as main field flux when the current flows through the conductors of the armature then whatever flux is produced that is called as armature flux this armature flux tries to interact with the main flux due to this whatever resultant flux is produced it gets distorted or demagnetized this effect of armature flux on the main flux is called as armature reaction now consider figure a figure a shows the main pole flux distribution here this is the north pole and this is the south pole the conductors with the cross sign come under the north pole whereas the conductor with the dot sign come under the south pole here the current is not flowing but the flux is shown in the direction it travels from north pole to south pole now there are two axes mna and gna we can see mna has coincided with gna mna is called as magnetic neutral axis and gna is called as geometric neutral axis magnetic neutral axis consists of brushes hence this axis is also called as axis of commutation magnetic neutral axis is always perpendicular to the resultant flux here these are the lines which show the flux from north pole to south pole we can see that magnetic neutral axis is exactly perpendicular to the resultant flux now consider figure b here only the flux is flowing from north pole to south pole there is no current in the armature conductor we can say that when there is no current in the armature conductor the total flux is only produced by the main poles that is called as main pole flux the direction of this flux is shown from north pole to south pole here we can see that the magnetic neutral axis coincides with geometrically neutral axis and it is exactly perpendicular to the flux now consider a case as shown in figure c which shows the armature flux distribution in this case only the armature is carrying the current and there is no current in the main field flux in this case we can see that the conductors which are shown with the cross sign come under the north pole whereas the conductors which are shown with the dot sign come under the south pole all the conductor which come under the north pole carry same current whereas all the conductors which come under the south pole carry same current the direction of flux is shown by this way and the arrow similar direction is shown for the south pole as the conductors which come under the north pole carry the same current the direction of the flux for all the conductor will be same and the resultant direction of all the conductor flux is in downward direction similarly 
all the conductors under the south pole carry same current hence the resultant flux of all the conductors under the south pole will have same direction that is in the downward direction but if we see the total effect of all the conductors under north pole and south pole their flux align itself in such a way that the resultant flux of overall conductors is in downward direction represented by phi a now you can see in figure d it shows the resultant flux distribution now here we can see that the magnetically neutral axis has moved to a certain extent than the original flux neutral plane why this has happened here both the main field as well as our armature is carrying the current so as the main field is carrying the current main flux is produced and as the armature is carrying the current armature flux is produced due to the interaction of both the fluxes that is main field flux and armature flux we can see the resultant flux is somewhat distorted this effect of armature flux on the main flux is called as armature reaction now we know that the magnetically neutral axis should always be perpendicular to the resultant flux let let fm be the mmf of the main flux fa be the mmf of the armature flux the resultant mmf fr is as shown by this graph now as we know the magnetic neutral axis is always perpendicular to the resultant flux so as the armature will rotate it will cause the distortion of the main flux so whatever resultant flux is produced that will get distorted along with the rotation of the armature so the magnetically neutral axis will always move in the direction of the rotation of the armature becoming perpendicular to the resultant flux thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and do subscribe our channel ikida thank you